Good morning, everybody. Johnny Miguel here, located in uh, somewhere Milwaukee. Well, Box Point, I suppose. Alright, the temperature here, I have no idea. Uh, 2 degrees Celsius. I am on my way to Franklin, Indiana. Our delivery appointment is at 5 o'clock this afternoon. We are 305 miles away from Franklin. Had a wonderful, restful time at home last night. Never got to do anything but sleep. Woke myself up just so I could go back to sleep. Ha ha ha. Tampers was very, very happy to see me. <laughs> Is it blue? Is it blue? Nope, not blue. Wonder where blue is. Probably somewhere making Bob happy. Fish Bay. See how I gotta extend my neck out to see the right side of that truck there? Yeah, not cool.
Oh, by the way, uh, as far as pre-plan goes, from Franklin, I am to Deadhead to what was the name of that town in Ohio? I can't think of that name. Hamilton. From Franklin, I did it to Hamilton to pick up a load and bringing it back here in Milwaukee for tomorrow. By the way, I'd like to I'd like to say that uh, as far as my paycheck has been with this company, it has been very, very consistent. Um, plus or minus, I don't know, a hundred bucks, I think it is. And I can honestly say that I am making a little bit more uh, than I did with uh, the other company. There are pros and cons about it, which I'm not going to get into. But there are more pros than the cons. So. Overall, I am I am quite happy. I love the idea of the low tech. You know, no bells and whistles, no I don't know, man. No nobody watching over your shoulder. You know, they, my boss gives you the load information as long as you go and pick it up deliver it that's it no politics no associates meetings As far as equipment goes, well, remember that time when I was in Utah? They had a told me twice. Now that's a brand new world class truck. I had to be told twice. So as far as breakdown goes, yeah, it, it's either brand new or an old one like this, they all break down, you know? But I realize that there are drivers out there that they're willing to sacrifice their, their pay so they can drive a really nice looking truck as they call it, drive in style. Me? I could really care less what I drive or what I look, what I, you know, what my ride looks like. At the end of that week, every Friday, it's the zeros that count. <laughs> That style thing that doesn't feed my family or pay the bills so and I'm not knocking that you know there are drivers out there that that's the thing well that's their thing uh, just not my thing I guess but as I said uh, my overall my my average 
since I've been here, it has been very, very consistent. As far as if my boss is looking for drivers, I don't think, not at this time, maybe sometime in the summer. the things that I kind of like was the thought of uh, being able to go home every week. I don't know, it's, it's kind of nice. So overall, I, I'm pretty, pretty happy and pretty satisfied with my Red is that didn't do it sooner. But then again, things were not in place when my boss first called me. Or the first, second, or third time that he called me. I, I wasn't ready and the things were not in place for me to decide to go, so. No matter how much I wish I, I did, I don't do anything, right? So it falls into the category of it is what it is. of you who've been wanting to know how many miles does this truck have it reads 887 326 387,000 and 326 miles No idea what year this truck is.
so we got 290 miles to go. By the way, the latest development with Baby Blue, Detroit finally called the Freightliner dealer in Hagerstown this morning. And they're running more tests. They can't seem to decide or find out what's really wrong with it. But I'm sure it'll be fixed by the time we get back there this Friday, right? So. Catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Have a good and godly day, everyone. Remember, today is the day. The day is the. Uh, today is the day. The best day to confess Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Be saved today. I pray that he will draw you near his heart and give you the grace and the peace that he is so willing to give for free.